What's up, everybody? This week, we're going to be turning this into this. Oh, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. <laughs> it looks something like this. And let's get into it. I'm sure you're just... Obviously, if you've seen any of my videos, my older videos, uh, you'll notice that all of this background is different. And that is because I moved and I, I'm loving every second of it. I did love my old office. I loved every square inch of that place. I painted the walls how I wanted. I had the TV exactly where I wanted, the desk, the monitor. Everything was exactly how Spitzer wanted it. And I loved it. But, you know... Things progress, you move on in life, and you have to make sacrifices, you have to make changes for the better, and I love it. It's awesome. I have no regrets whatsoever. I did have to change a few things about my office. You can notice that my monitor is no longer behind me, my desk is no longer behind me, and, and that kind of works out because I wanted to keep my computer and my workstation separate from uh, my studio, you know, where I'm doing, where I'm talking to you from right now. And uh, yeah, things are different, but you know what? I think I've always done my best in life to embrace change and you know make it the best change that I possibly can and this is this is the result of that um, I don't want to bore you too much um, with all of that stuff I do want to however kind of give you guys an idea of the equipment that I'm using the lights the camera the audio gear that I'm using right now to produce this video and future videos and I just kind of want to get your thoughts if it sucks if it if you like it um, what I can improve on and so forth let's talk lighting lighting I, a few years ago, was on a budget and I had to buy a couple of lights um, just for some production work. It was the first lights that I had bought, so I went with um, a company called Newer, N-E-E-W-E-R. Um, it's not an adjective, that's the name of the company. I got these 9x8 panel lights that go from 3200 Kelvin to 5600 Kelvin. So they're about this big. Um, I've got my key here. I've got my fill here, and they're actually, you know, like I said, I've had them for two, two and a half years, and they still work, they're still great, and I think for this use, they're perfect. For the budget filmmaker, I think they're amazing. Um, so yeah, so this is the lighting setup I have, key, fill, the the fill light is probably at 50%, key light's at 100% with one of those throw out diffusion panels that I've got attached to a light stand and a grip head. That's kind of diffusing making this light a little bit more soft, and then this is just the diffusion panel that came with the light panel at 50% coming this way. That's my lighting setup, that's it. And I've got some LEDs that I got from Ikea that I put up on the shelves here. You guys let me know what you think. I'm gonna try some different colors, um, but I'm kind of a, a blue type of guy, so audio. For audio, I'm using the Rode NTG4 Plus attached to a boom pole and then attached to a C-stand and then the XLR is running into a Zoom H4N recorder. I could use a uh, on-camera hot shoe mic if I wanted, but you know, if if you have the equipment, why not use it? And so I feel like for this purposes, the NTG4 Plus is great. It's going to capture really, really good audio. I do have to do something in this room about um, some of the bounce that's happening, and uh, and that'll hopefully improve um, later on down the road. But you know what? I'm not going to let it hinder my creation of videos, so this is it. I've had this mic for a long time and it's really nice to be able to get some use out of it. I was not using this on my other vlogs because it was easier just to attach it to the, the cold shoe or the hot shoe on my camera and be done with it. I wouldn't have to sync anything, but I'm really trying to improve the quality of my videos, so why not use the all handy NTG4 Plus. And camera, what camera, what camera, what camera am I using for this? I am using um, and I just bought it. I have not told anyone about it. Um, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with a Rokinon 24mm Prime lens on it with the Metabone Speed Booster. That is a lot of gear, a lot of words, and um, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos on this camera just simply because I love it so much. But um, I've got other cameras, but I really wanted to see what this looks like in 4K um, ProRes 422. On, on a vlog in, in my office. You know, I want to just kind of maximize my gear and just see what I can make this look like in post and, and what the final product will be. But let me tell you, I have wanted a cinema camera for a very, very, very long time. And the fact that Blackmagic is just rolling out these cinema cameras for the price that they have them, is, it, it just it blows my mind. It's No one else is doing this in the market and and I, I really, really, really believe in Blackmagic's products. The best part is when you do buy a Blackmagic 
product. They give you DaVinci Resolve, the full the full software for free because you purchase their product. They own DaVinci, so you know why not give you the software to maximize um, the look that you get out of their cameras. And you minus, I think that's a three hundred dollars software. You minus that off the the price of the camera, and you're just getting an absolutely incredible deal. So I'm I'm looking forward to really diving into the Blackmagic 4K and showing you guys what is possible to do with it. And um, I've got my girlfriend um, bought the uh, Canon 1DX Mark II. We know that they just announced the Mark III, but the, the 1DX II is absolutely incredible. And we took it to, uh, to Bali last month and the footage that just came out of it, you guys know, is just, it's insane. I'm gonna be, you know, have most of the B-roll that is in this episode came from that. It's really nice to be able to have two cameras that uh, kind of do two different things um, cinematically. Anyway, I'm blabbing. I'm, I'm, I'm going on and on, but I uh, just kind of, I'm excited. Let's just call it how it is. I may have just drank too much coffee and that's that. So thank you for being here. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I appreciate you and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Can you hear that? Can you? I've got we've got a neighbor who uh, who loves karaoke. He loves Elton John. He loves Keith Urban. Apparently, he loves Travis Tritt. And today, he loves you too. No? Oh no! Apparently, today, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, Bruce Springsteen. That's today, Bruce Springsteen.